Thank you, Walter, for uh, the dive. Absolutely. That was awesome, man. Great to see you. Okay. Yeah, nice man. To you. We'll uh, awesome rendezvous day. in Canada one of these days soon. Absolutely. Awesome. Thanks again, man. I will. Cool. How's it going, everybody? I'm here at the Walmart parking lot in White Rock. It's a good spot to meet up, free parking. Uh, Brian just showed up, and Mon Kuhn's here as well. We're driving out to Edmonds, Washington. Two-hour drive ahead of us, but we're gonna hit up a marine park, uh, underwater uh, dive recreational site. Meeting up with some Washingtoners out there as well. It's gonna be an awesome day. High morale, and seeing some new sites. So we're gonna hit the road, got to drive ahead of us. What's up, Brian? Yeah. Yo, buddy. Ready to go. Yeah, man. You too? You ready, Mon Kuhn? It's going to be a fun yeah. day, man. I'd say roughly 99% of the time, I'm behind the wheel when heading out on a dive trip. It was a nice treat being a passenger for once. Thanks, Brian. So we made it. We're just about here at Edmonds, the dive spot. We got through the border. Uh, some international passports kind of held us back a bit, but uh, only a slight delay. A uh, solid two hour drive, beautiful day. Can't wait to meet the guys and get in the water. It's been a long time coming, long, long time coming. But finally here, Epic Edmonds, you know, the notorious dive spot here in Washington. We got really lucky with the conditions, visibility, awesome, sun's out, really warm too. Uh, Sam Sam the Adventure Man, a uh, big old YouTuber, met up with us, so uh, nice to finally meet him in person. And Walt, uh, NW Diver, Northwest Diver, he's got a YouTube channel. He does a lot of uh, line diving out here, and he's gonna show us around, so thanks, Walt. Uh, buddy Mitch met up too, so we got an awesome crew. Can't wait to jump in. New spot, really excited. What's up, Sam? What's up, brother? Thank you, you one of those, man. Heck yeah, man, good to meet you, man. Yeah, you Finally, too, man. It's been, what, like a year and a half, two years? Been way too long, man. Heck yeah. We're Stupid here we pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're all geared up. I'm a uh, slow poke. I need to get my I suit on. I just slipped right in because it was wet for me yesterday. Nice. Mine's bone sound? dry, man. Yep. It's <laughs> right. it awesome. Thanks for meeting up, man. Heck yeah, brother. Yeah. Sam Sam, the adventure man, the guest cameraman for the day. <laughs> yeah, we got one socks in Canada. Yeah, too far to go pick it out. So yeah, just using the regular one. We had planned this trip out for the week prior, but an unexpected snowfall left the roads pretty slick. So we decided to postpone. We're pretty lucky that we did, as we had some pretty stellar conditions, both above and below the water. Epic visibility, and probably the nicest day so far of 2023. Unfortunately, some of the guys couldn't make it on this round, but we'll be back for sure. This spot lived up to its height. Edmonds Underwater Park is a marine protected area located in the Puget Sound area of the Salish Sea. The city of Edmonds established the park in 1970 with a lease from the Washington State Department of Natural Resources. The site has been designated as a no-take zone by the Washington State Department of Fish and Wildlife. Volunteers have driven park maintenance since the beginning and worked towards diver safety, park development, invasive species removal, and ecosystem surveys. Edmonds Marine Park is a gem, and it's no surprise that it's one of the most popular dive destinations in the entire Pacific Northwest. Having Walt as a guide was very helpful and much appreciated. There must be 20 plus spots to dive in this park alone, and he was able to introduce us to one of the more prolific spots in the park. With that said, when I come back, I'll keep exploring until I scratch each one off the list. We do have the Lopez pontoon, which was a large concrete piece that served as a bridge fender. Its dimensions are 100 feet by 20 feet by 13 feet, and the structure sits in roughly 10 or 12 meters of water. The pontoon serves as habitat for fish, invertebrates, algae, and seaweed. The rockfish here are gargantuan. Trust me, the footage does no justice. These copper and brown rockfish are easily some of the largest I've ever seen, besides the ones that are chilling at the Vancouver Aquarium. I was awestruck, but at the same time, had a sick feeling in my stomach. Why don't our marine protected areas or rockfish conservation areas have rockfish of this size? Well, the answer is pretty clear. Overfishing and poaching still run rampant on our side of the border, so rockfish never reach full size. It just goes to show how much of an impact fishing has on our marine environments, both from recreational and the commercial side of things. Marine protected areas play a crucial job in ensuring a healthy ocean, but enforcement of the regulations is an uphill battle when you have over 25,000 kilometers of coastline to patrol. As a diver, be the eyes and ears for the DFO, and don't be shy to report any suspicious fishing activities. The health of our oceans really does depend on it, so better safe than sorry. Hey Chris bro, I know you're diving man, but check out these bubbles here. That is absolutely wild. 
Got a guy over there on the rocks. He has one of those bubble wand type things. Just blowing bubbles, man. It's super, super cool. It's pretty fascinating how everyone has their thing. For some, it's flying a kite, and others, it's blowing bubbles. My favorite activities are the ones that I can do by myself, but with people. For example, skateboarding in my youth, boxing throughout my 20s, and diving for the last five years or so. I can't understand why everyone doesn't jump into the ocean and hold their breath, while at the same time, I fail to see any enjoyment in climbing Mount Everest or running a marathon. Humans are all so different, and that's part of the reason life is so exciting. Shout out to everyone who is pursuing their passion and living life to their fullest. Keep blowing those bubbles, man. On the way in, I found these rockfish heads. They were suspiciously close to the rock piles on shore, but let's hope it was a hungry seal or river otter and not a poacher. No complaints from Mr. Krabby. That was awesome. Really nice timing. Uh, rockfish like this big. Never seen them that big. Big lingcod, we saw like a three footer out there. Visibility was like a seven, eight out of 10 uh, for the Pacific Northwest. Oh, I come back here in a minute. Definitely worth a two hour drive early morning. Uh, thanks, man, for, uh, okay, for coming and meeting up. Yeah, dude. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, so as a special surprise, I actually have Bruce Higgins, the guy that curated this park. He started 45 years ago. Oh, yeah. And he's here right now. Oh, that's cool. So if you want to go meet him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give him, a, give him a handshake or something. Heck yeah, dude. And I'd be pretty proud of myself if I was responsible for an epic spot like this. You know, kudos to him. Yeah, dude. Yeah. All right, cool. Let's go meet Bruce. Yeah. Hey! How's it going? Hi. Hi, family. How you doing? Do you miss me today? Yeah. You had fun last night at Annie's? Yeah. How are you doing on my face? Yeah. Uh, how about you, buddy? You had fun today? Yeah. You had fun, buddy? Yeah. You had fun? You want to be in my video? Yeah. You want to be in my video, really? Yeah. Okay, well, let's go Let's go chat. Let's go chat for a bit. I think I forgot to do a sign-off. Uh, things got busy at the end there. Edmonds, 10 out of 10 for a recreational shore dive. Huge rockfish all over big link code. Thanks so much, Walter, or Walt, for showing us around. Uh, Sam Sam, the adventure man, for coming to meet up. Really nice to finally meet you in person. Uh, Owen, met Owen down there and Anton. Uh, same with uh, Mitch, uh, met Mitch as well. All really great people. Hopefully dive with you guys again in the future. And Brian, Moncoon, and Julia. Uh, thanks very, very much for the hospitality, keeping me company, driving out there. Thanks, Brian, for uh, taking the vehicle. It's nice having a break for once. Oh, Edmonds, hit it up if you're in Vancouver. Mama, totally, totally Mama, worth the uh, totally worth the hour. Dad, yeah. I want my egg. Okay, give me two seconds. I want my egg. Okay, Salem wants her egg. Uh, I was just gonna say two-hour drive to Edmonds. Totally worth it if you're in Vancouver. Hit it up. Worth the hassle at the border. Are you guys hungry? You want an egg? What do you want, Zaya? All right. I want right. to eggs. <laughs> All right, peace, love, everybody. I will see you next week. Diving uh, Vancouver Island. Okay, we get your egg, baby. Kids.